What's up guys? Got the truck all set up. Um, some guys have been asking about uh, where I got the truck, what I paid, you know, put a, and I was waiting because I wanted to make sure everything went through and I'm gonna tell you a story about where I got it. Well, the title of this video is gonna tell you. It is Aero Truck Sales. I went through Cincinnati office, a sales guy named Frank. Um, that's the one I told you in the last video, went above and beyond, looked, tried to find the perfect truck, you know, everything I wanted. And, uh, and he did, and uh, this truck came up, and it was in San Antonio, Texas. That's where I went. Um, so when I flew out, saw the truck, everything looked good. It was, I think, uh, you just did a walk around. That's when you saw the walk around of the truck. You saw arrow on the mud flats if you looked. Now I'm gonna let you know everything that happened on the way back, but it was kind of, yeah. I mean, you're bound. It's set truck set, especially with anything with DEF. So. I'm driving, I pull out, and you know the air conditioner starts kind of getting a little warm and stuff, and then it kicks on, and the blowers, you know, so I call them, I'm like, hey, the air conditioner didn't last 20 minutes. They're like, well, do you want to, do you want to go to Volvo down the street here? I was like, I got to get back, there's a Volvo by my shop in Omaha. They're like, all right, give us a call, and let us know every issue that happened on your way there. We'll make sure, it, we'll get it right. So... That was the first issue was working on and off so um after about three hours it said i need to manual regen so i pulled over went into the dash controls manual regen because i got three alarms i did the regen it took about an hour or so shut right off but i had an engine light that stayed on so I'm like, okay, hopefully it's nothing that won't stop me. So I had to book it. I kept going. Got back. And uh, I got back all the way to Omaha. They plugged it in the next day, Monday morning. They saw a sensor for knock sensor for the DEF and then a, a dosing valve sensor. And then the AC. So those are the three issues that I needed fixed. The radio didn't work, but I did that on my own. I ended up buying a new radio. It's got a subwoofer in here. It's got like eight speakers and a subwoofer. The sound system sounds incredible in here. So I get to Volvo and they plug it in. They're like, yeah, knock sensor, AC, dosing valve, all the wire. And so that right there, there's just those three issues that Arrow had to take care of came to about 2,600 bucks. So I was like, man, I hope they take care of it. And then with the radio and the wiring, so whoever had this truck before me had a custom CD player in there. So all the wiring was cut and destroyed so they had to put a new wiring harness but they put the labor on 10 hours which would have been over a thousand bucks just in labor that's the max the guy ended up doing it in an hour so it only cost me 200 bucks 190 for the radio and a hundred dollars in labor so 200 buck or after taxes and stuff oh no it was a little bit more in labor it came to like 400 but it cost me 400 bucks there they called arrow arrow took care of twenty six twenty seven hundred dollars of the bill okay purchasing a truck there's multiple ways you can do it but this is the way I did it I looked into lease I looked into companies financing it just arrow financing it. my banks financing it I found a credit union credit unions I said I need a loan for 50 grand this what this truck was 50 grand so they're like all right we gotta do a credit check they did a credit check it was good they're like okay we need the, we'll use the truck as collateral you have to get insurance on it so I had to set up insurance temporary insurance to get the truck back set up tags and plates temporary tags and plates and uh, what they did was my interest on a $50,000 loan it's like four percent like, I, th I can't remember what the percentage was, but they only charged me like three, four grand. So $54,000 for a truck. $4,000 was my, was my interest on that loan. And the truck is collateral. My payments are about 1100 a month, 1200 a month. It's a 2013 Volvo 780. 
uh, 10 speed, you saw it. So your payments alone, you know, you have to look for the best deal. You know, some people, it's easier to lease through a company. You're like, here, at this company I'm at, if you lease through them, you know, yeah, it's going to be, you know, you're, it's not going to be as good as you're at a bank, but, you know, there's really no credit checks. There's The only money down is your safety, your bonus. It's no money out of your pocket. It'd be money you earned in the 90-day period. And, you know, they'll set up, let you know the payments and stuff. You'll have to talk to them about it, but, you know, if you don't want to worry about credit check, you want to be an owner-operator, you want to have a truck that's been here at the company that they know everything about, they got a history about, their guys worked on them, they got the bugs worked out, that's a good route too because they know the truck and they're going to keep you going. They, you know, they care about that, you know. So that's another option. But I looked at Lone Mountain. That was another good one too. Um, it just wasn't, it, their trucks they wanted were more than what I wanted to spend, but they were a good deal. M and K. No. That's the company that took, waited a week and didn't get any calls. Called them back. They're like, "Oh, you're still looking for a truck?" I was like, "Well, yeah, I'm looking for a truck still." What do you think? I just stopped looking for a truck. I told you this is what I'm looking for. Give me a call as soon as you have this. Call your locations. I'm dead serious. This is what I'm looking for. The only companies that call. And then there was a trucker showcase. They're awesome call me back let me know what different things they had they had 2012s with like 600,000 miles so I was, I was looking for a 13 or a 14 with around 500 at first it was an eye shift but then I started looking at it and they were more expensive so I went with a 10 speed and uh, wanted the workstation I wanted a refrigerator you know I wanted uh, you know a good taking care of the truck so long story short, that was the little bit of that. So I take it to Volvo. They got those guys yesterday, plug it in. They see the sensor, they get everything fixed, Arrow Trick comes back. Or Arrow calls them and takes care of the 90% of the bill. You know, the only bill that, it was my radio. I wanted a new radio in here and, and needed a new wiring harness. So then one of the mechanics come up to me and says, I got to tell you one thing. And it's, it's pretty crazy. I have been working on Volvos, and I've been working with Volvo for a long time. He's like, and I don't know what Aero did or who, how they got this deal, but I've never in my life seen a truck with more new parts in it in my life. So he did a tally. The DEF system filter, all that, that's six, five, six grand, brand new. They said that it was just put in. It still has the... The tags are still crisp. He doesn't. He doesn't. He thinks they were put in before it even got to Arrow. That's like six grand. It's brand new over here on the passenger side. Brand new. He said you might have been the first person to actually drive down the road for a while with that a new DEF. It's never been used. Turbo system. The entire turbo system, brand new, three four grand. Uh, then he started naming off all these parts. All these parts. He's, he added it up in his head and he said, you're looking at an easy fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in brand new parts that have never been used on this truck. It's like they went through the whole truck and just replaced everything. He's like, that's unheard of. And that was through Aero. Um, it's a good truck, you know. The main thing, it looks good, you know, but I care about mechanics. And if, you know, you're going to have issues. I might drive down the road, you know. You're going to hit your truck and you're going to have issues. But I think the good Lord above was looking out for me on this truck because, you, I mean, just everything. At first, I'm just getting stressed out. I'm like, oh, my God, I got alarms going off. I'm going crazy. I'm ready to call Arrow and start bitching. But I keep a cool head, you know. My wife settles me down. And by the end of yesterday, I'm eating pulled pork sandwiches with the crew at Volvo and hanging out with them and they're giving me pointers on Volvos and they're looking at the truck they want to make sure it was good they're Volvo in Omaha Nebraska amazing the most amazing Volvo company I've ever been to customer service was beyond anything I've ever seen like they they are awesome guys if you have Volvos or a high no truck and you're in there, go in there for maintenance and get stuff done. They'll get you in. They'll get it done right. Volvo of Omaha. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I'm extremely happy with this truck. Arrow took care of me. Um, I went through a credit union because I'm, I'm about getting my cost per mile down. So the interest rate was just ridiculously low. And I think it's only like a 36 month, or yeah, 36 month loan, three years, 1100 bucks a month. I mean, I can't remember. Yes, yeah, my wife knows more about it. I just, I'm the dumb truck driver drives. She's just the smart one that handles all my money. Um, but yeah. Aero truck sales guys, Cincinnati, a guy named Frank, and then uh, I picked it up in San Antonio. There was a guy named Gary there. He had the truck all ready for me, had it washed clean. Yeah, there's, you know, there's some nicks and crannies, some spots they couldn't get to with dog hair that I got to clean up and stuff. Um, I will, uh, I'll get her cleaned up. I'm going to get home. I'm going to bomb the truck. I'm going to use some bombs just to make sure, you know, you top it off. You got, you always get, you get a new truck that's used, even new get some bombs some bug bombs you know that kill eggs and all that just to have it it just makes you feel cleaner you know i'm gonna bomb put a bomb in here i'm putting bombs underneath the truck inside the compartments i might even bomb it three times i'm just i'll overkill it and then let it sit for a couple hours that's what i'm gonna head home from here real quick run a load back to michigan area and uh bomb the truck vacuum it clean it um and then head out. All my paperwork's done. I got it decals on the truck. It's looking good. It's looking sharp, guys. Um, if you want a solid company, call those numbers on that one video on uh, for nationwide transportation. I got the numbers put up. Tell them Trucker B Bale sent you. You know, subscribe, share. You know, I'm only I'm out there doing my best to, you know help people out and tell them what I've dealt with and what I've my experience you know nothing to lie nothing to hide you know that's you know that's the that's just the way it is um I got a five o'clock shadow going on I've been uh I've been roughing it for roughing it for a few days so all right guys if you want more information that's a little bit of some jewels I can give you um, I start running my first owner op load based off percentage is 73% uh, of the line haul I get 73% and you get 100% fuel surcharge and uh, they're on point they even I mean they they don't hide nothing they they're a straightforward company they take care of they take care of us they take care of their guys and I'm telling you, if you, you guys give it a shot, if you're looking for a good, solid company that will keep you making good money and give you a bunch of different opportunities, they're a growing, growing business, you know. Reefer, Nationwide Transportation, Omaha, Nebraska, Trucker B. Bale sent you. Let them know. They'll get you right to the person if you tell them that. And you'll get right in. If you've got the experience, you know, if you, if you don't have some crazy accidents... You know, if you went on a rampage down the highway, and you probably won't get in, but, you know, if you got a good CSA score, low points, you know, a little bit of experience with a CDL Class A and pulling a trailer, give them a call, you know. It ain't going to hurt, you know. If you got questions, ask them, they'll tell you. So, that's a little bit, guys. Um gave you everything but my social security number so this is the way I am you know things will things will be going good I have a good feeling so drive safe drivers and you know what you got to do keep on trucking I just shaved I was just checking Look clean. Drive safe, keep on trucking.